Harry's got a new album coming out on Friday, Harry's House. Look at you. Yeah. How are you? I'm very well, First thanks. of all. How are you? You look good, man. Thank you very much. What is your workout? Because I got to get into shape. I got to get into like Harry Styles type shape. I mean, uh, what are you doing? Are you running? Are well, you uh, I, I what run are you a lifting? little bit. I, I walk a lot. Um, I, I, I changed, I'd say maybe about a year and a half ago, I used to kind of like, you know, go in and do like, I don't know, like just random weights and stuff. And then I kind of stopped doing that. I do like a lot of like dance workout things, like less weight. You know, like twisting, yoke, Pilates, stuff like that. I got to so change that yeah. thing. Low That's impact. Right. I'm going low, low impact. impact. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You look good. Thank you. Thanks. It's Watching working. These videos. It's working, man. Whatever you're doing, <laughs> it's working. You know. Thank you. You know, I was thinking about you. I was reading about you last night, and you know, you got this big tour coming up. And when mm-hmm. I say a big tour, how many nights are you doing at Madison Square Garden in a row? Uh, a ten we have on ten. Uh, wow. Yeah, ten. And yeah, I'm very you know, excited. So I read this little blurb that you make sure to get a minimum of ten hours of sleep mm-hmm. while touring. And I thought, you know, you would have a perspective on this. When you read about rock stars and the excess of the of the past, like guys would go on tour, <clears throat> they're banging everything they meet. Mm-hmm. They're um, staying up all night. You know, you read about the legendary parties like Led Zeppelin had in the Who. Can you imagine how a lead singer could get through a tour doing all of that crazy crap? It's 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 not possible. You're a young guy and you need that ten hours of yeah, sleep. Yeah, I mean, right? I don't. I I just can't do it. I, I think like drinking and stuff just dehydrates my voice so much that. You know, it'd be really freeing if I could, like, have a night out and then do a show the next day, but I just can't, and I think knowing that I can't is just easier. I think I did it once, and it was my least favorite show I've ever done because I think I just felt like it was so bad, and um, I know I feel like even on the run of shows that you do, you kind of, I feel like you owe it to whoever's coming, even if it's, you know, if it's our 40th show or 90th show or whatever, I think it's most people in the audience's first show. So it kind of feels like if that's like the sacrifice I have to make, I'm kind of okay with it. Um, Where do you think you get that? Because you're, you're, right now you got the number one single in the world and you know, you've know you got enough hit songs where you're, you're on this incredible career roll. Where do you think you get the work ethic? Seriously, because so many bands blow up or they they fuck up where where does it come from where you say to yourself i owe it to a fan some kids come into my show i i can't go out and drink i can't go out and party i got to get this 10 hours of sleep it is unusual for a young guy to think like that where does that come from i mean i think i think honestly like a lot of the kind of going out and like going to parties after shows and stuff like that i i did that in the first couple of one direction tours and i think the songs kind of got like higher and higher as the albums went along so the singing kind of just got a little bit harder so I kind of felt like I did a lot of that the novelty of that thing early on and then and then now it's just like there's just more shows and um it's kind of like I don't know I try and like think of it like um like almost like an athlete would like approach something like that like I kind of you know if if that's the amount of time that you go on like it's a pretty incredible thing that I get to do and I love it so much so to treat it as such is um not it doesn't feel like a sacrifice really it kind of feels like in other words it's like Harry it's like a um, military operation you got this big organization behind. I mean, it all comes down to you and making sure you have your voice and you can right. really put on a performance. And so you've got to treat it like a job, almost like a nine to five job. Mm-hmm. Like if you know, and if you but it's like a nine to eleven job, right? It's just it's just the two hours a night, so it's uh it's not too bad to. I, I think like I try and think of it as like for those two hours or so a night, you know 
want to be at a hundred percent and be able to give it everything and if that means that the rest of the time I'm like resting and trying to take care of my body and stuff like that then that's kind of what it is and I love doing it so it doesn't feel like I'm kind of you know giving up on life if anything it feels like I kind of enjoy going into that kind of like meditative state during a tour like I can I get into a rhythm and stuff and then um and then when I'm not touring I feel like really relaxed about you know if I get sick or um that kind of thing so it almost feels like off season on season in a way I you see I treated my radio career like this when I, I you know the day that I have I know I have a like a radio show to do early morning mm -hmm. there's no bullshitting around I go to bed super <clears throat> early and and someone said to me it's amazing to me in your career that you still care you know they they mm -hmm. say that to me and I said to them it's because I have this unbelievable desire to have an audience love me. Mm -hmm. And you've said the same thing about musicians. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was very introspective. You said it's a tremendous drive to be loved. And, and um, you know, that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. I know that's what drove me to be on the radio. You want to be right. loved. And by loved, by the masses. But there's also something sad in it. Yeah. When you think about that. That, <laughs> yeah. that like what is it what is the damage inside that we need that positive reinforcement from these strangers i mean i think like obviously everybody has a desire to be loved i think we all want that as as humans obviously um i think when you get into an industry like music there's there's obviously a level of ego involved where everyone who is a musician feels like what they have to say is worth listening to so like there's a level of ego that i think you obviously need to ever if you did had no ego you'd never put out music because you it would you know you wouldn't care right. um you didn't you wouldn't think anyone should listen to it or anything like that and i think i think there's something about like how um dangerous and kind of fragile the the industry is in a lot of ways like there's something so exciting about loving a thing and an industry so much that only loves you back if you're doing really well right and it's kind of like i mean maybe that's like the sad part but also i think if you can if you can find a way to redefine how you kind of measure your own self-worth and uh you know kind of have that not be dependent on how like commercially successful you are then i think you're okay i think the 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 kind of damage happens when someone gets used to feeling like oh this is when this is what it feels like to have people love me and if this these things aren't happening it means people don't love me and that i think is a really dangerous thing but it's also like you know it, it's kind of just like that just is how it works in, in a weird way. And I think I've just tried to um, feel like incredibly lucky for things that I've been able to do in my life. And then now I feel like I'm at a point where I'm able to really kind of redefine what it means to me to be successful and uh, what it means to me to kind of you know, I know now that my friends around me and the people around me, their love and, like, care for me is not dependent on the music that I make or the work that I do. And that is, like, a really relaxing, freeing thing to feel. So, um, yeah, yeah, feel pretty yeah. good. But 